Hey guys, um, here's a run through of open workout 22.1. So the workout is 15 minute AMRAP of three wall walks, 12 alternating dumbbell snatches, and 15 box jump overs with a mandatory step down. So here's the run through um, and the movement standards. So as you come over, you're gonna start beyond the line for the gentlemen, you come forward just so you can see everything. There's gonna be a 60 inch line, and for the ladies, there's gonna be a 55 inch line, and then the 10 inch line that's already here. At three, two, one, go, the athlete will approach the wall, turn over, their feet are touching the wall, both hands are on the line. As they proceed to do the wall walk, both feet will be on the wall, and then both hands can move. You're gonna to touch with both hands inside, and then you can walk yourself back out. Both hands must touch the line before the feet can be lowered to the ground. Chest touches, and that's the completion of one rep. At the end of your third rep, make sure that your chest hits the ground before you proceed to your dumbbell snatches. The dumbbell is gonna be beyond the line, but before your box, and you'll do 12 alternating dumbbell snatches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 of those. Dumbbell needs to touch the ground with both heads and come to full extension of knees, hips, and arms before you switch. For the box jump over, the boxes will be placed beyond the edge of the lifting platforms. Boom. Beyond the edge of the lifting platforms. You'll proceed to jump on the box, two foot take off, and step down off the box. One rep is completed when you land on the other side. You'll do that 15 times before you proceed back to your wall walks. Pretty awesome workout. I think that it was a great test of fitness and we'll give you a couple of tips um, that we kind of learned by doing the workout. Step one. Yeah, what did we think? It was, uh, it was an open workout. It was stressful ahead of time, but it didn't need to be. Uh, it's just work. It's just grunt work, right? Like just go, go, go. And um, don't go too fast out of the gate. It's 15 minutes long. So I always equate things to running. 15 minutes for a lot of people, maybe that's a 3K run, you're not gonna run your 400 meter pace for that, so don't run 400 meter pace out of the gate. Just settle in and go smooth. I think besides the first round not having the transfer back to the wall, my splits are almost the same the whole way along, so. Yeah, it's a pretty like steady pace workout overall. Um, I think this is a great introduction to the Open for anybody because everybody's working for the same 15 minute period, so it feels really nice to be finishing with your peers. Um, if you're just getting your first couple of wall walks, you have 15 minutes, you don't need to rush in between rep one, two, three. You can take that appropriate amount of rest time to make sure that all of those reps count to a really, really good standard. And then if that is the case, there's no need to rush through the snatches and box jump overs either to just get back to the wall to lay there. You don't want to waste time and dilly-dally, but if you're being inefficient in those snatches, you're going to press them out, you're going to lose some power there, you're going to get weak in the core, so you're going to want to make sure you're pacing appropriately the whole way. Yeah, really solid technique on the dumbbell snatches will save your triceps and your shoulders in the long run. Um, but finding a rhythm on the box jump is really what's going to make the big difference. In watching the elite athletes um, and myself doing it and Nate doing it as well, um, I found that our rounds performed the best when the box jumps were really steady. So on the box, off the box, on the box, off the box. And just keeping that pace to rush through those wasn't of a benefit later on in the rounds. It just really got you out of breath, made everything else a little bit more difficult. Yeah, and you, you lose the rhythm. So you can see Noah and Pat is the perfect example. Noah went out hot, fast, really quick step down, turn around, jump kind of thing. And, and the commentators always talk about how great that was. And then at the end, what happened? Pat comes along, does the exact same jumps for all 165 jumps that he did. Every single one was the exact same and he had a rhythm and uh, he didn't start walking away from the box and flopping around like Noah was and he ended up winning the workout. So, so this is definitely a workout where the smooth is fast uh, saying really, really pays off. The smoother you are, the faster you're going to be throughout this workout and just maintaining a, a low hype level. There's no need to rush anywhere. It's just a workout that goes at a smooth pace. 3, 12, 15. 3, 12, 15, and find that rhythm within your abilities. Yeah. And personally, I kind of had a goal number in mind of how many rounds I wanted to get, 
uh, realistically. And what that allows me to do personally in an AMRAP is to say, okay, that's one round gone. I've only got this many left and I can keep putting rounds away. And then when I get to, I wanted nine rounds plus a little bit. When I get to the fifth round, I know there's only four more and I don't think about the last one. So there's only three more. And then when I get to that last one, now I can really start to push the pace, right? And there's, there's two minutes left and it's almost over versus if you're four minutes in and you're like, oh, 11 minutes to go, then it sucks. Yeah. And I had a couple of messages come through that were like, oh no, my quads, oh no, my shoulders. I don't know about this one. Um, I didn't feel my shoulders no. too badly, or at all really. And the reason is this, my wall walks are very efficient and there were no, no reps at all. I rested appropriately between each rep. Like I knew how long I needed before I could make a really, really quick transition. And my dumbbell snatches had really solid technique. So that's gonna be the key here, guys. Slow it down so you have really good technique so that your body responds appropriately. Yeah, it was just fitness. There was no particular muscle groups. It quads a little bit on the box jump, but not bad. Dumbbell snatch wasn't that bad at all. The wall walks, just out of breath. <laughs> yeah, so great overall test of fitness. Um, it's gonna be an awesome 15 minutes and I'm really looking forward to seeing you guys crush it tomorrow. So good luck, guys. Good luck, you filthy animals. Hey, what wizards? <laughs>